traditional child restraint installation uses the car seat belt together with an Australian mandatory requirement of a top tether attachment to stabilise the seat. Isofix child seats were first introduced in Europe in 1997. Rather than using the car seat belt, Isofix uses a special coupling that attaches to fixed anchorage points already in the car. Until recently, the use of Isofix seats has not been allowed in Australia. Australian standards now allow the use of Isofix seats, but continue to require a top tether to be used. Due to the more stringent safety requirements of Australian child seats, overseas models of Isofix child seats are still illegal to use in Australia. Approved seats can be identified by an Australian and New Zealand standard label. Cars equipped with Isofix attachments can be identified by tags or labelled covers in the rear seat base. Fitting an Isofix seat is straightforward as long as you follow the instructions. At the base of the child restraint are two attachment hooks. These clips attach to the anchorages in the car's seat. The top tether rides over the top of the vehicle's seat and connects via an additional anchor point on the floor, the roof, the back of the seat or in the luggage area. If you have to use your Isofix seat in another vehicle which is not Isofix equipped, it is possible to install it using the seat belt in the same way as a traditional child restraint. Fitting traditional child restraint uses the vehicle seat belt across the back of the restraint as well as a top tether over the back of the seat to an anchor point somewhere behind the car's seat. Make sure you read the seat manufacturer's instructions for specific installation information, as well as the vehicle owner's manual to locate your car's anchor point. The type of child restraint used depends on the age and size of your child. A rearward facing seat should be used as long as practically possible, as young children often lack the neck strength needed to properly support the head in the event of a crash. There are three sizes of rearward facing child restraints. One for children up to 70 centimetres tall, approximately six to nine months. A larger one for children up to 80 centimetres tall, approximately 12 months. And a new category for children over 80 centimetres tall, up to two to three years of age. A forward facing child restraint is the next move for children who have outgrown their rear facing restraint. It should be used until the child is at least four years of age can be used for longer until they outgrow it. Following this is the booster seat, which suits children until 8 to 10 years of age. If your child is ready to move from a booster seat to a traditional lap sash seat belt, there are a few things to consider. Firstly, they should be at least 145 centimetres tall. In addition, make sure your child can sit with their back against the seat with their knees bent over the seat edge and the seat belt sash over the middle of their shoulder. Make sure the lap belt sits low across the hips and that this is a position that your child can maintain for the whole car trip.